and welcome to another barn tour. I have been doing so many barn tours lately, but I genuinely love doing them and you guys seem to love them too. So today we're doing something a little bit different. So the theme for this barn is actually a Western barn. Now when I say Western, I mean like sort of Wild West, really stereotypical type of farm barn stable thing uh, that I've gone for here. So without any further ado, let us start the tour. So I world edited the um, area here to be red sand because I felt like that looked more appropriate. Just so you guys know before you go commenting asking me if I'm running mods and which ones they are, they are actually listed in the description below along with my uh, shader pack and my texture pack. So do check that if you're curious on how to make your game look like mine. So we come Come to the entrance now this is just kind of a simple wooden entrance I feel like on the front they'd probably have carved in the name of the ranch for example um, but I don't have chisels and bits mod which would allow me to do that uh, so unfortunately we're just gonna have to go with a log so when you walk in there are two kind of immediate things that grab your attention the poop pile and this massive trailer we're gonna look at the trailer first don't worry we'll get to that in a second so over here inside this trailer is not my normal style of trailer and it's not also necessarily for horses either so i'd say this is more of the massive kind of cattle trailers um to move cattle in and out of the ranches and things like that you can use it as a horse trailer but to be honest i would prefer to put say cows in here um and have them kind of say if you're in a multiplayer world and your friend also has a ranch having something like this would look really cool as you can see the design itself is a lot more different to the normal kind of trailer styles it's a lot wider it's a very large thing um and massive parts of these are actually this is retextured uh green stained glass to look like bars which i think is really cool looking it's bland basic and doesn't really have a tack room in it either there's just this empty space i didn't know what to do with so i didn't do anything with it anyway right over here we've got the truck now i've done um different styles of trucks and to be honest i preferred this one the best uh it's simple you can do it with any color you'd like I preferred this one and it's kind of functional as well because you've got the haystacks in the back now I know these are um, metal or iron trap doors so they actually lie like this to get them to stand up um, as if the uh, kind of grates have been put up I put daylight sensors in the back these have been conveniently retextured to be hay blocks um, so they really fit in with the theme as well as serve a function of making sure these trap doors stay up so of course if you want to to put them back down you could do that and say jump in to grab the hay and then just place them back in and they go back up this really cool design to be honest um one of the main features well it's not really a main feature but um i've got this cool kind of birch tree it looks very dead very dry um i do have the biomes of plenty mod installed so that's what these are dead leaf piles things like that these leaves are also dead leaves so they kind of fit in with the whole theme of it being dry and kind of a little bit dead um so that's what we've got over here now of course the poop pile this is kind of standard i feel like this is um something i always put in just for realism again this is completely optional if you don't want to put this in you don't have to but um i just used a lots of different brown colors as well as this retexture block that looks like flax with poop on it which i think is awesome so um i'm going to go I think we'll go over here first. So here is just kind of a standard round pen. Um, this is for housing the horse, so this wouldn't be used for working the horse. This would be, say, it, let's just role play here for a second. So you've got a wild Mustang and you don't really want to put them with the rest of the horses just yet because, you know, they're still wild and unpredictable. So you put them into this pen right here. Um, they have their water, you'd come and feed them their hay. And then that gives you easy access to this pen here. Now, I've watched, I don't know why I've watched this, but I've watched a lot of uh, shows and mini documentary series on how they take the wild horses and they train them. Um, this pen specifically is made for um, only the animal uh, friendly and the kind version of the training. Um, but this is for their own safety to make sure they can't try and jump out and get stuck on a fence or anything like that. Uh, so I really like this arena, but this is specifically for the young unbroken horses or wild horses that go in here to kind of 
get um, rehabilitated. Over here, you have, I feel like if you've got a ranch, you've got to have cows. And uh, this this is massive, like it's genuinely so big. Um, so we've got just loads of cows in here. I really wish, I don't know why, but um, I really like the Western discipline. Like I rode in it when I went traveling and I also love watching videos of people riding Western. So I'd love if somebody made a mod where you could actually herd cows or sheep or whatever. That'd be really cool. But for now, we've just got them chilling in this massive uh, paddock pasture thing, uh, which I really like. So down here, we've actually got the main barn. I love this barn so much. So inside here, it's simplistic, you know, there's not much going on, but it's really cozy feeling. I just absolutely love coming in here. And when you've got horses in here as well, they're all really cozy. And these bars kind of so do you kind of get the store design I was going for like the typical one it's almost saddle club-esque you've got the bars on the door or sorry the the panels in front of the stables and of course you've got the iron doors um out here we've got the kind of run area so we've got salt licks out the side got water got some shade if they need it and they can come out and eat some hay blocks over here um pretty much this is all copy pasted all the way down but um this design here this kind of letting light in um to be honest minecraft is sometimes really difficult to light very large areas um and especially with shaders, it gets really dark. So I've just gone for, uh, I know this isn't very realistic in terms of lighting, but I put a massive strip of glass and then some glowstone and glass again, just to really let the light in. Um, but to be honest, when the sun's setting and the sun kind of comes in those slits, it's really beautiful in here. So definitely this is kind of open to interpretation. You can take whatever you like about this barn, take out whatever you don't like. But um, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. So out the back here, we've got some interesting things so I'm gonna show you this because this is quite exciting um, because this is the kind of washing grooming station so of course they get all sweaty in the arena over there and they come over here and you can shower them now what I love about this is I've got uh, yeah mr. Crash Fisher's furniture mod so um, what this does is that this actually gives me a working shower head so now you may be thinking whoa Abby you put the water you put the water in the bucket I didn't actually so this is actually the placeable items mod so if I shift click it it actually places the item so I thought this was really cool because if you come inside there's an empty bucket here so if you were to grab the empty bucket come out here just do an old switcheroo turn on the tap Ooh, let me just fill that up a second and it looks like oh, I broke it okay well that didn't go as planned but you get the gist it's meant to be putting water in there so I really like that to be honest um, this is quite functional these are retextured purple terracotta blocks um, and I like the overall theme of this it does stick out quite badly against all of the kind of wood brown colors but honestly I don't really mind that much it didn't look that bad I don't think so over here we've got the obligatory tack room so inside it's all very very cozy so we've got the lights that oh no these aren't lights this is a fan uh, so it's hot so you've got to have some air ventilation I've put up this absolutely gorgeous photo of the uh, forest area it had a kind of orange hue to it so I knew I had to put it in here we've got the bridal racks we've got some feed rooms and as I always say in literally all of my barn tours I've got a tutorial on how to do stuff inside the tack room uh, you can click the link in the top right hand corner to uh, take you to that video in case you wanted to know how to make tack rooms and things like that so we've still got the bridal racks and uh, I just felt like it needed a little bit of extra decoration so I put in some rosettes a flower pot and of course a stereo and this nice table and of course we have the actual saddle racks as well um, this was definitely a more difficult design because you couldn't go for a very English uh, posh look you had to kind of go for a sort of very warm toned uh wooden you can almost feel the heat when you're in here it's actually quite nice uh so as we come out i've just kind of decorated things everywhere it's meant to look a bit messy this is a working ranch not everything's gonna look perfect we've got some crates and things out here um and okay so i got laughed out for this but this is meant to be a hot walker um queasy wouldn't stop laughing at me so i'm a bit skeptical of of what you guys think of it but i like it um it's simple it's meant to be that the horses go in this section and it spins but of course that's purely in role play you it doesn't actually work but i like it so i guess if you don't you don't have to put it in but uh yeah i got laughed out for it so over here now i personally do not like to do indoor arenas i feel like the lighting is horrible i prefer feeling like i'm outside um 
but I do feel like in these uh, western areas, especially in Texas, it gets way too hot for you to be out in the blazing sun all day, barrel racing, whatever you're doing. So um, I did make an indoor arena, but I kind of made it my style. So we've got massive gaps here because you really want to let the air flow through. And of course, once again, we've got kind of bigger version of what we have in the barn, um, just to let as much light in as I could possibly get. But it is kind of still a bit dim in some areas, but that's all right. So in here, we have some... So I guess this would be sort of Western pleasure obstacle things. Um, they're kind of cool to go over, like especially when you go over on the horse sideways. Those are always kind of fun. Um, then of course we have kind of a desensitizing thing. Uh, we've got some pole bending over here, just some simple weave in and out stuff. And we've kind of got a barrel practice. So they don't actually have barrels in here, they're cones. Um, I guess it's kind of for beginners if they wanted to do a trot round a barrel and kind of practice the pattern and that kind of thing. And it's a good size arena it doesn't it's not too much of an eyesore I don't think and it's big enough to fit all the things that I needed inside so I think we're gonna go straight over to the very simple barrel arena so it's the only um, outdoor arena that I've got this is kind of I would imagine where we would do competitions so inside we've just got the barrel pattern um, again I'm so sorry if this isn't technically accurate if it needs to be say longer along this section or it needs to be more even I I literally am taking this off the videos I've watched and uh, photos and things like that so this isn't technically accurate but I'm sure if you ride Western you'd be able to do it properly so I've kind of just gone with what I thought was correct but I do like the look of the barrels certainly so before we go over to into the final section of the paddocks um, we've got this beautiful water tower so I figured um, when I didn't have this there was kind of this sort of lack of height um, in the ranch and I felt like I needed kind of a very big centerpiece but something that would be realistic and that you'd actually have and I figured a water tower would be perfect because you might not always get um, piped water out here so you need to have your own water source and I believe if I did this correctly yeah I did okay there is actually water inside so um, if you were in the survival world and you did want to play on this having a water source up here is pretty cool say for example if you come inside you could maybe put um, a ladder on this side and go all the way up to get some uh, water or you could have maybe uh, a sort of filtration system where it comes down and you can grab the water There's lots of things you could do with this But if you're in creative of course, this is completely optional But I did think it kind of brought the whole thing together I did use a different type of wood this time But I do feel like it suits it more because it looks sort of more industrial It looks like it's built to last and it maybe it's a newer feature Maybe that's why it's not quite so sun bleached as the red as everything else is so finally we come to to the paddocks now I didn't want to do square paddocks I wanted to really do something new this time so I went with these cool oh, octagonal there we go uh, we've got the octagonal uh, paddock here so we have the salt lake now you can use a lot of things to represent a salt lake I've gone for this uh, clay so oh pink terracotta my mistake pink terracotta um, and I've caught kind of hung it off the side here we've got a big hay pile um, now a design I did do before that I quite liked was having hay um, I'll just demonstrate here hay along here and uh, then trapping it in with some trap doors. I did like that design quite a lot, so you kind of have it like this. Oops, wrong side. Um, if you have it down like this, that looks kind of cool. It looks more, um, I guess, uh, I don't know, it looks more professional, I suppose. It looks neater. If you're into neat, that would be for you. I kind of went this time for um, a kind of hay pile in the center. Now, I did put down barrier blocks so the horses can't jump up here because it's really annoying. I don't know why. I really don't like it when I see Minecraft horses on top of horse, um, on top of their food because I feel like um, that doesn't look great. So I just copy pasted it twice. If you're wondering, I think these are mud bricks from, uh, yes, they are from the Biomes of Plenty mod. Um, and I made kind of a little shelter so you have the water have a place to escape the sun if you're outside and uh, as you can see the um, actual paddock is clear of these dead bushes because I figured the horses would be trampling them down so that they wouldn't actually spring up anywhere so that was my western barn tour 
before. Now I did do some landscaping and put some mountains in the back and I really really do like that. So um, if you wanted to build a kind of ranch western barn then this might give you some inspiration. I certainly did enjoy um, building this. I don't know how much I'll be using it though but uh, I'm definitely so glad that I got this one down. So of course we must get on to the part of the video where I add your horses in. So let's get on with that. First up Amelia D submitted Raven who is a thoroughbred. Now I know she said very dark bay but I spawned him in as a black horse. I hope that's okay. Then we have Holly submitted by That Prissy Pony who is a Welsh Pon Pon. Then we have Bear submitted by Georgie Murphy who is a Dartmoor. Next up is Tiger Lily submitted by Scarlett Jackson whose show name is Tribe Princess and her breed is an Arabian X Palomino paint and she kind of looks like a bootleg gold rush which I think is awesome. Then we have Sailor submitted by Lila Opalsky who is an American paint. Next up is Monty submitted by Violetta Steel Tower who's a Connemara. Then we have Dime submitted by Hebdex Project whose show name is Dark Dimes. Then we have Midnight Diamonds submitted by Brianna Morales, who is a Morgan. Next up we have Pepper Bell submitted by Neo Dragon, who is a Connemara Pony. And I just wanted to say that Fluffy Cactus replied to Neo Dragon and had a, an absolutely lovely conversation with her in the comments and I did spot that. So shout out to the both of you for being wonderful human beings. And finally we have Bo submitted by Macy Ross, who is a Tennessee walking horse. Now that's all the horses for this ranch if you want to get your horses into my next barn just comment a little bit about them below like their name their breed and their coat and maybe if their gender and anything else you would like to add and you might get picked for your horse to be added in the next barn so that is it for this video if you have any suggestions for my next barn's theme do let me know in the comments below so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye